Well, now we're taking you to Columbus, where residents join together alongside nonprofit members and civic groups to talk about Crime Saturday. It was the first forum of a month-long series. Let's go ahead and take a look. Violence starts in the home, in the neighborhoods. Dr. J. Aleem Hood, CEO of Project Rebound, Inc., and chair of A Call to Action, a community violence intervention program, says instead of leaning on law enforcement to clean up crime, heads of households and neighborhood leaders need to step up. At the end of the day, we're saying, what do you, mama? What do you, daddy, uncle, aunties, neighbors, friends, concerns? What do you need uh, in order to help the children not go down this path of mayhem and destruction? A call to action held its first town hall Saturday at Revelation Missionary Baptist Church. Residents were given the opportunity to address a panel of local civic leaders with specific needs or concerns with the end goal of producing solutions and a formal letter to be distributed to law enforcement, educators, business leaders, and government officials. That's the issue with Columbus, George. That's the issue with a lot of our community. We have murderers of fathers, murderers of mothers, manslayers, that goes into children as well. We can sit here with all this logic and this and that, but you're not going to get these parents to come. They got to make a living in the hood. And we don't have that answer. We got to get in the hood and stop this division. Dr. Hood says he hopes to see more resources be given back into the community from the local government to increase support with the neighborhoods that are dealing with youths committing crimes. We felt it's time that the citizens uh, get resources. Uh, you know, we have all types of resources to lock them up, to uh, incarcerate them, uh, to uh, uh, find them when they've done bad. But we want to we want to catch them doing good. We want to create opportunities for them to do good. So we need to redirect some resources to keep them out of trouble, not just be great at catching them when they've done wrong. Most who chose to speak expressed appreciation for the new community violence intervention program. Others said it is time to stop talking and start doing. We have these young folks that are getting felonies and nobody's saying anything. All our black kids have felonies. Now you're saying change. Change to what? They can't work. Okay, while we are trying to do something about that, we got to get down deep. They live in the life of selling drugs. That's how they have to survive. Right. But we're not trying to help them change from uh, their entrepreneur to something, building a, a, building a business or something like that. We should be standing at the courthouse every time we have a young, a young man down there have in the belt. Panelists countered, saying Saturday's meeting is just the beginning of identifying concerns like halls. A multitude of organizations were in attendance, like the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, Project Rebound, Inc., various sororities and fraternities, and citizens. Now three more discussions are scheduled for select Saturdays through March. All their locations and dates can be seen right there on your screen and are scheduled to convene from 12 until 2. These discussions are formatted similar to a city hall meeting. Each resident must sign in to speak and are given two minutes to ask questions or list concerns to panelists.